Well, what is going on guys? It's your boy one take 340. I got a special video for you guys today We are going to be talking about how you can make 500 to the wheels in your b58 just for under two thousand dollars Let's get to it All right guys, this video does apply to m240 340 440 540 and 740 models 2016 through 2018 uh, I'm not too sure about the new ones, but I am 100% uh, positive that the 2016 and through 2018 all have kind of like the same platform and they all have, you know, just almost the exact same B58 motor. So pretty much first mod we're going to be talking about to make 500 wheel is intake. Now, in, listen guys, intake is optional. So either you do or you don't, it's not really a crazy difference. You're only making what? 10 15 horsepower gains nothing crazy uh, i kind of just did it for the sound and i mean my intake is pretty cool you know it's a carbon fiber one so that's something to look at when you know when you open that bay up and you just see that carbon fiber intake just laying there so it's up to you guys intake is optional if you want to get it go for it. if you don't no worries you could still make 500 wheel without it okay guys second mod we are going to be talking about is going to be tune uh, I would recommend you guys either go with a MHD JB4 or a Boot Mod 3. Those are my top three picks. But if I had to go, you know, either pick this or pick A, or pick B, I would either go with MHD or Boot Mod 3. But to me, guys, MHD is really, really easy. It's really simple. Now, a tune is going to probably cost you from anywhere from 500 to 600. But guys, it's worth it. You're going to see some really, really good horsepower gains. So uh, I would definitely get a tune for this car. Okay guys, the third thing we're going to be talking about to make 500 wheels is going to be a catalyst downpipe. Catalyst downpipe is really, really good gains. Uh, you're gonna see maybe from anywhere from 30 to 40 wheel horsepower on that. So uh, I would recommend you guys get a catalyst downpipe. Catalyst downpipes usually go from anywhere from 300 to $400. You could get it off of uh, VR sf i really recommend that website okay guys fourth thing we are going to be talking about is a transmission tune once you start pushing around 430 to 420 to 430 uh, i would recommend a transmission tune really responsive uh, it's really good for the car as well because your car now picks up how much power you're actually pushing and stuff without the transmission tune so your shifts are going to be better the car is going to run more smoother uh, the transmission tune company that we're going to be going with is XHP. Uh, I'll drop the link in my description for that as well. Now, a transmission tune, uh, if I don't remember, but I think it was around uh, anywhere from 250 to 300. Okay, guys, and the fifth thing we are going to be talking about, this is the key ingredient to marking on that 500 wheel horsepower is going to be a upgraded high pressure fuel pump. So now guys, there is a variety of fuel pumps you can go from. Uh, I'm not sure if the TU pump and the super fuel pump is the same, but we're just gonna go with the TU pump because it's the cheapest one you could get. Super fuel pump, and then you have your Dorch stage two uh, fuel pump. Okay, so the TU pump is going to allow you only to hold around, I'd say 600 wheel horsepower. Super fuel pump is the same thing. And then you have your Dorch stage two pump, which is the most expensive, but that allows you to hold up to 700 wheel. Okay, now the price difference from all three of these, TU pump is gonna be anywhere from, you could get a used one, you know, with barely any miles on it, but it will go anywhere from $400 to $500. And then you have the super fuel pump will be 800. And then you have the stage two, which is stage, the Dorch stage two, which is the best uh, fuel pump you could get. And that goes from anywhere from 1300 to 1700. So it's pretty pricey guys, not gonna lie. But my opinion guys, I rather just go with the TU pump or a super fuel pump. Uh, it's probably the best option you could go for if I'm being honest with you guys because I mean 600 wheels a lot guys and once you have that super fuel pump or you have that TU pump or 
that Dorch stage two pump in your car, you're gonna be pushing 500 to the wheels like it's nothing. So it's a big upgrade guys. And that's the key ingredient to mark in that 500 wheel. All right, all right. Hope that was helpful for you guys. Hope you guys enjoyed that video on how to make 500 wheel on your B58. Please leave a like, subscribe and drop a comment. I'll see you guys until next time.